Haha, <laughs> what's up world? It's your boy Double O coming at you live from Atlanta, Georgia once again tonight. Hope everybody's doing well. It's day number 58. We're moving right along, getting closer and closer to that 90 day uh, goal that we set uh, back, uh, what, two months ago almost now, you know. So thank you all for hanging out with me, all of you, all of you who have uh, came with me on this journey, all, those of you who have joined us. Uh, late in the game, I appreciate you uh, you stopping by and checking me out. Hope that you will continue to uh, to watch these videos throughout this next uh, what, uh, 38 uh, or so days. And uh, also, would like to invite you to go back and take a look at some of the older videos that I've done, uh, and hope that um, they will be a help to you. Um, tonight, you know, I just want to recap a few things. I'm really kind of tired. I had the, uh, the honor and privilege today to to uh, attend a uh, conference here in Atlanta, a music business conference on, um, uh, it was called SCMC Conference. Uh, had a lot of great information that was uh, disseminated at that conference and a great panel. Uh, one of our business partners, Sydney Robbins, was on, on the panel actually, and uh, attorney Sydney Robbins. And you know, uh, it's, it's great to, to watch uh, uh, people, young people especially, um, trying to better themselves and to to learn the business that they're trying to become a part of and and uh, you know just uh, reach their goals and so you know one of my uh, one of my greatest desires and dreams is to really speak at these conferences as a motivational speaker for uh, for artists and for producers and songwriters to really help them stay focused and help them reach their goals and really understand you know where they're going in a business and that you know they are a business and they must treat it as such um, you know when you're when you're a recording artist you are a business uh, plain and simple uh, when you're a songwriter you're a business when you are a musician you're a business and you have to treat that as such but you know uh, anyhow just uh, you know if, if you all get an opportunity please go back and look at some of my old videos and, and check it out I'm really kind of tired. It's been a long week. Um, I was I've, I've been blessed to really get out on a trail this week. Uh, my sister and I, who is a furlough government worker right now, says big up to you, Consuelo. Uh, you know uh, she's government furlough work, worker, but we make we are making the best of her furlough time by actually exercising together and just talking and and uh, really uh, catching up on uh, the last few years because you know I've been on the west coast for the last 10 years or so so you know, we haven't had a chance to really communicate on a day-to-day -day basis but you know just being able to walk and talk with her and to really uh, uh, share you know time with your family it's a beautiful thing you know and really uh, as you grow up and as you get more experiences you know, I'm able now as her big brother, <laughs> so to speak, to share with her uh, some of my experiences and also gather some experiences from her and um, and really, you know, help motivate her to keep doing what she's doing. You know, she is uh, she has struggled with, uh, with her weight her whole life and she has uh, lost about 160 pounds now, so she's doing wonderful there. And, uh, you know, I'm very proud of her and, and, you know, her, what she's doing. And, you know, she just got a master's degree and she's, she just has a lot of wonderful things going for her. And I really uh, am grateful to be able to, to be around her at this time in her life and to have her around me and my daughter uh, at this time in, in her life as well. Because, you know, I think it's a very important, uh, a very important thing for you to spend time with your family. And not only help other people in the world, but help those that are closest to you. Uh, so, you know, it's been a blessing to be with her. And we, we've been walking. We did about, I think she did 60 miles this week. And I probably did about 50 miles. Uh, because I had meetings a couple of days and whatnot. No excuses, but, you know. Um, so, anyhow, uh, it's been a great uh, been a great week. And I hope you've had a great week. It's Saturday night, uh, Sunday morning in some places. Actually, it's Sunday morning here. Wow. Didn't realize it was so late I got to get to bed. But I have to get this in because, you know, I gave my word that I was going to do these every day for 90 days. And thus far, uh, I've been able to do that for the most part. I think it's been a couple of days where 
I've gotten them in uh, two two a day sometimes to to make up for a day or so. But you know, uh, for the most part, we've been able to be on be on point with these and get them out to you. As I said, I'm a little tired. But let's just recap the week really quick, and then I'll let you go. Number one, um, I hope you all are writing your goals down. Please, please, please. I cannot reiterate that and iterate that enough is please write your goals down get them out of your head get them on a piece of paper on something that you can look at them every day and the next thing after you write your goals down let's start to make a plan for those if you're not sure how to make a plan uh, hit me up on twitter hit me up on my email or on facebook or something and let's just talk about it i'll be glad to talk with you be glad to you know, communicate we help communicate with you and help you formulate a plan to really achieve the goals and some and the desires of your heart. Um, the other thing I want you to do is start feeding your mind, your body, and your spirit the right food. You know that's so important. When, when, and when I say that, I mean you know feeding your mind uh, deep videos, motivational videos, and books that you can read that will help you. To really build your your uh, your stamina and build your endurance and build your perseverance and build your knowledge on the business that you want to go into or or the goals that you want to reach. You know, if you need background information or if you just need something to keep you going, keep you motivated. Um, your body, you know, you gotta you gotta get the right uh, diet and get the right exercise going, and then you know, feed your spirit by sitting and meditating or visiting. You know, a church of your choice, or a mosque of your choice, or a synagogue of your choice. Just whatever, wherever you need to go for your spiritual uh, upliftment. Um, but definitely want you to include uh, meditation in that in that spiritual uh, upliftment, in that, in that spiritual food. Because sitting alone quietly for, as I always say, start off at five minutes a day. But your goal should be about thirty minutes a day, or forty-five minutes a day, to an hour a day. Sitting alone and meditating on your goals, your dreams, and your desires will definitely uh, help you uh, uh, um, get to where you want to go. Your subconscious mind will really take over and, and really start to do some some great things for you if you allow it and if you will feed it by allow by sitting there and, and meditating uh, in complete silence and quiet for. You know, five, fifteen, twenty minutes a day. There are also some some other type of meditational programs out there that you can can uh, grab or you can buy or download. There's uh, some audios that um, that are great, and I will recommend some of those on some coming video. <clears throat> um, the other thing is you need to believe in yourself. You must believe in yourself, and you must believe in your dream. There are all types of dream killers out there. People who will tell you it's impossible or you can't do it or or they'll just be really, really negative about you and and you know, they'll throw your past up in your face, they'll throw your lack of education, or they'll throw uh, anything, you know, mistakes that you've made in your face. Don't allow that to stop you. Don't talk yourself out of it. You know, you gotta tell that negative committee in your mind to sit down and shut up. Be quiet, negative committee. I don't need you uh, bothering me at this time. I, I'm thinking positive and uh, you know, that's very important because a lot of times we really talk ourselves out of, of achieving our goal, out of being great, out of being a better person because we allow the negative uh, um, thoughts to creep up in the back of our minds and tell us that we can't do it. So, you know, believe in yourself and believe in your dream. Uh, reach out and build some relationships with positive people and and build that mastermind with the people who will help you to stay on track and help you to stay motivated and help you to endure when times get rough or or, or, or you go through some tough spots or you know you just need somebody there to, to really motivate you and get you going. So again, uh, reach out and build relationships. Uh, please uh, feel free to contact me. Uh, and, and the circle of people that I uh, I deal with, and those people who really uh, who really keep me on track. Um, shout out to my brother uh, Donald Williams out there. I really appreciate uh, your feedback, brother, and everything that you uh, uh, share with me. Um, you know, and uh, the questions that you pose to me. You know, what what is it that will keep you up 24 hours a day? Um, 
to help to, to, to really that really most motivates you to keep going. What what is that goal? What is that desire that you have that will will push you to the limit? You know, think about that. That's very very important. Um, so reach out and build some positive relationships with, with people who who have who are like minded and who are are reaching up for higher aspirations as well. You know, you can be you know, a, a really great person. You can be a great person. All you have to do is put your mind to it to be a better person every day. Um, that's something that the world needs. We need you to be you. You know, actors, they can be somebody else for a very short period of time. But you can only be, you can only be someone else or act like someone else for a very short period of time. But you can be you forever. Think about that. You can be yourself forever. You can only act like someone else. You can only pretend to be someone else for so long, but you can be yourself forever. And that's a very, very important thing. We need you to be you. We need you to be the greatest person that you can be so that we can move the world forward and we can make the world a better place. So reach out and build you know, those positive relationships. Meditate. Meditate, meditate, meditate. Take your take some time out of every day to sit in silence. I'm telling you, it'll do you a world of good. It will calm your mind, it will lower your blood pressure, it will lower your anxiety, it will lower your it will eliminate uh, grief and, and and whatnot. But meditate, close your eyes, sit in silence, meditate on your dreams and watch your subconscious mind bring people and circumstances and things to you that will blow you away. Trust me, just try it. Try it, just try it for a week. Try it for a month, 21 days. Try it, just try it, please. And then let's talk about it again. Uh, let's exercise, you know, get out and get some sweat in, you know, get those endorphins flowing because it really does stimulate certain parts of your brain that will help you to think clearer and to help make you feel better and give you that that little boost that you that you might be missing that will help you uh, uh, build your energy and build your strength and build your stamina and your perseverance. So get out there and get some sweat in, exercise a little bit. If you don't do nothing but walk around the block a couple of times, do that. You know, uh, it's, 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 it will do you a world of good, trust me. So get out, exercise, get your sweat going, get those endorphins flowing, and, and really, really feel good. Uh, <clears throat> don't fear the struggle. You know, embrace it. Uh, I made a video a couple of days ago about really embracing the struggle and enjoying your journey. And, and that's something that you have to do. You have to realize that there are going to be struggles, but they're only there to make you a better person. They're not there to make you fail or, or stop you. They're there to build your strength, build your stamina, build your will to, so that you can keep going and keep moving forward. So please work on that. Just work on embracing the struggle and really enjoying your journey as you move forward and you go forward in life and my new motto don't stop till you reach the top don't stop till you reach the top let's go we can do it together thank you very much for listening i really appreciate it remember don't stop till you reach the top peace and love, love.